What's up everyone? In this video I'm going to show you some really useful items I like to use in Battlegrounds. Two of these items are really useful, and the other three are just awesome. This first item gets you ready for a day at the beach. It's the Hosen Beach Ball. This item is dropped by Ikik the Nimble, who spawns right here in Dread Wastes. It's a pretty straightforward fight. Just avoid his banana. I'm a banana! It's pretty much useless in Battlegrounds, but it does make me look weak and squishy, and tempt Horde into thinking they're going to get an easy kill. This next item is also in Dread Wastes. It's Eilee's Sky Mirror. This item transforms you into whoever you are targeting. Here's where she spawns. This is probably the hardest fight out of all the mobs mentioned in this video. The best advice I could give you is to avoid her spinning crane kick at all costs, and interrupt her heal spell. Here I am killing people as a kung fu warlock. The next item is in Veil of Eternal Blossoms. It's Mr. Smite's Brass Compass, and it drops off of Yorick Sharp Eye. He can be found right here. This item transforms you into Mr. Smite from the old Dead Mine. Strength and honor. This is another useless item, but I think it's pretty cool running around as a Kung Pao cow. Here I am doing some Kung Pao on this guy. This next item actually does have some use in Battlegrounds. It's the Hardened Shell. You can find it in Kun Lai on this little island here. It drops off of Nessos the Oracle. It dismounts whoever you throw it at. And saving the best for last is the Crystal of Insanity. It gives you a buff which adds 500 to all stats. You can find it here, in Valley of the Four Winds. It drops off of Sulik Shore. It lasts for one hour, but it doesn't persist through death. The good news is that it's only on a 15 minute cooldown. I would say all of the mobs I mentioned in this video have an hour to an hour and a half spawn rate. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe.